Hey, y'all, so this is going to be about potential energy. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Or the glory and wonder of potential energy while making a big deal out of going nowhere. So here we go. All right, so what exactly is energy? And remember, you can be the lazy scientist and go ahead and capitalize it as a capital E. So energy is when an object can change its environment, then it considers it, it is said to have energy. So energy is, the, in other words, energy is the ability to cause change. So this, we're going to be talking about potential energy specifically. I think this conversation topic's got a lot of potential. So anyway, all right, so um, potential energy is stored as a result of the position of an object, OK? So like sort of where it is in space, um, otherwise known as energy of position. So the object has the potential to move. In other words, potential energy is energy that has yet to be released. Okay, it's sort of like it has the potential to have energy, but it, it's still sort of stored up. So the amount of potential energy is relative to the object's position and the object's mass. So for instance, this wrecking ball is going to have a lot of potential energy. It has a lot of mass, right? Um, and also, depending on where it is in its position, that is also going to determine how much potential energy it has as well. Same with the crossbow. Um, again, depending on where it is in the position and how big, how, how much mass the, uh, the arrow might have. All right, so for example, like I said, the, um, a ball in a demolition crane before it's dropped or a drawn bow and arrow or crossbow in this case. All right, so types of potential energy. So you've got a lot. You've got sound, you've got heat, you've got nuclear, you've got light, you've got gravitational, and you've got elastic. All of those things have potential energy. So it's a bunch, yeah? All right, so remember, anything that can move, and remember sound, heat, um, nuclear, light, gravitation, gravitation, and elast elasticity, those can all move. So anything that can move has potential energy. Of course, it has to not be moving, but yes, anything that has, that can move, has potential energy. All right, so for this lecture, we're going to be talking about um, specifically on gravitational and elastic potential energy. So gravitational poten potential energy um, is directly related to an object's mass, which means the more mass that the object has, the more gravitational potential energy it has. And that, again, just being lazy, lazy scientist, GPE, gravitational potential energy. So it is also directly related to the object's height off the ground. So the grounder surface is called the zero position, okay? And then so the more height this object has, its relative position, the more gravitational potential energy it has. Okay, elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy is energy stored in stretchy or springy material. So some materials might be springs, bungee cords, rubber bands, a drawn bow, or a catapult. So potential energy can be created by stretching, by stretching or compressing. Okay, so the more, the more stretch, or the more you compress it, the more um, elastic potential energy it has, and again, um, EPE, elastic potential energy. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about springs. Um, springs are actually pretty cool. Um, it's, it's a device that can store elastic energy due to either stretching or compressing. Okay, so like springs are sort of unique in, in, in that way. Um, which means the more you compress a spring, the more force it takes to compress it further, right? So if you've got like a spring out here, as you get closer to compressing it, the, further, the more you have to work, the more force you have to apply to compress that spring. All right, so let's keep on springing. So if a spring is not stretched or compressed, there is no potential energy. So if it's like, just like in the zero position, just in the zero position on the desk, then it has, it, there is no, it has no potential energy. So this is called the equilibrium position, mean, meaning that it's that is equilibrium meaning equal. So also known as the zero position. So the position a spring takes when there's no force on it. So you just take the spring, put it right there, zero position, equilibrium position. So I'm kind of running out of E, so I'm going to go ahead and conclude. So um, potential energy is the energy stored in an object based on its placement above or below the zero position. Okay, remember that the zero position is the surface. So an object has gravitational potential energy if it is placed above or below the aforementioned that zero position. So an object has elastic potential energy if it is in a position other 
than an equilibrium position. In other words, if it is not equal, if it is not just standard, if it's being compressed or stretched, that is when it has the elastic potential energy. All right, there you go. The Lorian wonder of potential energy. And as I said, we're making a big deal out of going nowhere. Thanks.